If you're watching a scary old movie and somebody feels a spider crawling in their sleeping bag, it's usually a tarantula that, tarantula that crawls out of there. But in the real world, the spiders you need to be most concerned about are the really tiny ones. Hi, I'm Janice Crenetti. I've been teaching environmental science for over 20 years and working in the field, I've encountered my share of spiders. I'm here to talk to you today about one particular spider that can give you a pretty nasty bite and maybe even send you to the hospital. That would be the black widow spider. You see, spiders in general are biters. They actually drink their food rather than eating their food. So they have mouth parts that are designed to pierce, and they have venom in these mouths. The venom of the black widow spider, the bite that's shown here, is actually one of the most toxic venoms of any animal on the earth. So when the spider bites, the venom goes inside its prey, usually an insect or maybe even a small lizard. That venom helps to um, stop the prey from moving, begins the decomposition process, and then the spider can come along, pierce it with its mouth part, and basically drink the body juice out of there. Well, in human beings, what happens instead is that the venom causes a reaction to the nerve cells. Spider bites are, spider venom, like the black widow spider, are something called a neurotoxin, which means they actually damage nerve cells. Now, the bite initially looks very small and you will see sort of a circular swelling pattern around there, and the, it, the neighboring area might get pretty red. But if it's not properly treated, it can actually enlarge and in some cases even cause permanent nerve damage. Black widow spider bites are not usually fatal, at least not to adults, and at least not in countries where there's ready medical care. However, if the acute pain doesn't cease in um, about a 24-hour period, or if you begin to get other full-body symptoms such as uh, stomach cramps or muscles or even what begins to feel like a heart attack, you're probably going to need to be seen at a, at a hospital and maybe even have some antivenom uh, administered. So if you've gotten bitten by a black widow spider, it's really best to err on the side of safety and have somebody at an emergency room check you out. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is Black Widow Spider Bites.